Good day. Are you able to find the missing number in this interesting puzzle? The numbers in the puzzle are as follows. In the first row, we have 5, 3 and 4. In the second row, we have 6, 5 and 11. And in the final row, we have 9, 7 and the question mark. As usual, we need to find what numbers represent the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to the solution of an interesting puzzle. The numbers are straightforward. First row, we have 5, 3, 4. Second row, we have 6, 5, 11. And in the final row, we have 9, 7 and the question mark. As usual, we need to find what numbers represent the question mark. If you can see at this puzzle, it's interesting because you can either work in terms of rows or in terms of column. So if you have worked in terms of column, you are wrong. The answer to this puzzle, you have to work in terms of row. Now this is the correct way. So 5, 3 equal to 4, 6, 5 equal to 11, and 9, 7 equal to the question mark. Without further ado, we're going to add the first number. 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. 5 minus 3 is going to be 2, and then 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. Similarly, for the second row, 6 plus 5 is going to be 11. 6 minus 5 is going to be 1. 11 divided by 1 is going to be 11. So what is the number that is represented by the question mark? You should know the way now. 9 plus 7 is going to be 16. 9 minus 7 is going to be 2. 16 divided by 2, and the question mark is going to be 8. I believe most of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.